Hey guys, it's Sneaky Pete here, and today we're going to be doing a review for MK Ultra, and this is grown by Namaste by Zenibits. So this strain costs $8.99 for a gram. I like to buy one gram at a time for new growers, and then from there I buy eighths once I find stuff that I like. And this was packaged on August 27th, so again, this is packaged way earlier or later, however you want to look at it, then I'd like to see it like something that's a little bit fresher than that. In terms of the specs on it, this MK Ultra comes in at 18.5% THC and 0.07% CBD. So even more packaging, I haven't seen this white sort of thing here. I mean, they are getting a little overboard, aren't they? Like, I think they could do it with less. So just a little container, big, huge lid on it. Let's go ahead and open it up. And one of these like super heavy duty childproof. Okay, I just had to jack that thing open with this butter knife. Like I'm telling you, I've ran into a couple of these and the childproof, it's so over the top. It's like, it's broken. You just can't get in there. And I did, unfortunately, open this as I was doing it, but this was totally sealed, so no worries on them for that. Reasonably good smell on that. There we go. That's what a gram of MK Ultra looks like. Looks like a decent trim. Seeing a little more leaf on there that's kind of all compacted in there than I would like to see, but nothing that's too offensive. Does actually have an aroma. I ran into a lot of strains that are just mild. This is citrusy. Yeah, by far citrus and pine are the most prominent terpenes that I'm getting here. Let's go ahead and grind some up and see what that's gonna do for our aroma. Some of these smaller buds. Break apart this big one. This is dense as all hell, I'm telling you there. Wow, listen to that. A lot of trichomes, a lot of crystal coming off of there. Some more complex citrusy sort of smells now. Definitely did enhance the aroma busting that up. Um, let's go ahead and have a vape. See the effects, see the taste. I'm gonna load up here my Airizer Air 2. It's one thing I love about the Air 2, the Solo 2, the Argo. These glass stems, there's really nothing but glass touching your material. So you get very, very pure flavor. Now I've got this heated up to 375. Let's insert that. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm, strange just getting warmed up, but a lot of good flavor on that one. Definitely getting those citrus flavors, a little, little more pine and earthy flavor in the taste though. I gotta say, this is one of the better tasting strains I've come across. It has that complexity, that multi-layer sort of dimension to it, where some of them have just been a little planty or, you know, a little bit citrus, but this has some sweetness, some citrus, some earthiness to it. Mmm, I like that one, nice and smooth too. Still really good flavor on that for four or five draws, whatever it's been. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this bowl. So overall, pretty good session. You know, towards the end of that bowl, of course you're losing the flavor. Starting to get a little bit warmer with the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back hits. I'm gonna let that marinate. I'm gonna let that sink in. See you guys in about 15 minutes. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. I tell you that one, I almost waited till 20. Uh, that is a strong strain for sure. That was a big bowl of that one uh, for me at least. Very, very relaxing. I was watching some fail videos and just laughing like great strain if you want to watch a movie or chill or something like that. Overall, I'm really impressed with this strain actually. Uh, the only thing is the packaging. The packaging was just terrible. It was incredibly hard to get into. I imagine if you're an older patient or maybe a medical patient, like you would have really struggled with this one. But once you get inside, just a super, super dense bud actually some good flavor and not only a lot of it but some complexity to it as well which i haven't seen in certain strains quite smooth uh, but overall the effects were just phenomenal if you're looking for a great indica to just chill um, something for you know to end your day it wouldn't be a great start of your day kind of a strain i think i'm gonna have a nap after this probably but <laughs> overall definitely uh, one for 8.99 i would purchase again without question and uh, might even grab an eighth next time so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this review on mk ultra Keep it green, keep it sneaky, and we'll see you next time.